investigate a situation with a fox living under a deck. We go check it out. So we have a fairly large space underneath this deck here, which the fox climbs under. And under there we can see a carcass of a, a raccoon and some other animals so we know that uh, it is frequenting this area but once it's under that wide open space um, the fox is then going onto a more confined space underneath the stairs and we can go over and see that now so as we've been looking at this situation here, um, we we can smell skunk. So potentially the fox either got a skunk to eat or got sprayed um, accidentally. But the fox is underneath this part of the deck. So it comes in from the far side and then has burrowed a hole under this much more confined space. And going by the time of year, we're, we're kind of uh, second day in April, there's a good chance that we have pups in the den with the adult. So our objective is to open up the deck, make sure that if there are babies, we get them out. If not, then at least we've confirmed that. And then we'll chase the fox out and do the necessary screening on the other side so it can't get back in. So let's get started. Look at this. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh. What a cutie. This is a baby fox. Never seen one this young before. Oh my god. You have any other brothers and sisters in there, buddy? Wow. You are so cute. Way too cute. And nice and quiet. Little, their little tails. Little white tip tail. Unbelievable. Okay, they're mobile a little bit. We should put them in a bag and let's go after the other ones. <laughs> hey buddy, look at you. Hi. Wow. Too cool. Let's put them in the bag. I see two more. Come on, bud. Number three. Come on. Three down, I think one more to go that we've seen. Continue to look until we get them all. They're so soft. We had to use bare hands to get in at them because the gap we're dealing with is not very big for our gloves to be able to grab them. So we'll put them in the bag. Little one. <laughs> 
Okay. Continue our hunt for the baby foxes. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's way further than this looks. Is it still running? Yeah. <laughs> so we just had to grab these three guys so fast. Uh, that is juggling the camera and three little babies. guys. And that's that's where they were in there. So wow. You got a mitt full of <laughs> baby foxes. That's so cool. Okay. Just gonna continue to look for some more. We think there might be one more. I'm taking a video. So cool. So here's the nest. Look. Tried to open a board. It's packed all the way to the top. That's what it should look like. And that's the nest. Little baby behind the nest. Because we've checked all the other sides and we saw one go in behind there. And we're pretty sure this is the last one, so I'm just gonna. I've never seen anything like this. I guess all grass and leaves. It's actually wet. We're keeping an eye on whether it scoops out the other side or not. It's incredible. It's all very fairly fresh. I don't even know how she could have had the babies in this nest because there's no room for her. So the vixen or the female fox and the dog, which is the male, have been heading under this deck uh, to the opening on the far side there, going all the way under the deck to where you saw us cut the holes. Um, so what we've done now is we've got all the babies in the bag. We're going to put the babies in our heated release box and put it right where she's used to going in and out and she'll stumble across them. And in the next few hours, I would think she'll be back to take up um, pick up the babies one by one and move them off to uh, another den site that she already has set up. So we'll just start by putting them in the box. And these are the most adorable animals I've ever removed. So cute. It's a female. We'll just sex them. Just so we know, that's our little boy. That's the insulation on him. Another little boy. <clears throat> Two boys and a girl. Another little boy. Three boys and a girl. It's gonna be a full box by the time we're done here. That's four. This one is another boy, five, and number six. 
you see their white tip tail they haven't uh, haven't got the real reddish color in fact the colors on their back are very similar to a baby raccoon of this age but they will grow in the reddish fur eventually and this one is a boy so we have five boys and just one girl in this litter So we'll close the box. I'm going to open the door so the mom can get in and take them out, but they won't be able to climb out. And we're going to put the box wait where she goes in, angle a little bit, and we'll get this plugged in. We have a heating pad underneath to keep them warm. And uh, we'll return in a couple hours just to make sure everything went according to plan. You got him? Yeah. <laughs> the nasty guy. <laughs> he bit me. We got you. Finally. Number seven. Wow, what a job. And he stinks. <laughs> Not sure why. Sorry, buddy. We'll put you back with your brothers and sisters. Okay, let's go put him in the box. Fortunate that he was aggressive because he kept wanting to bite me and he didn't run away. No sign of mom. So we adjusted the way we had the box originally because with the cloth, the sweatshirt inside the box, the babies were too close to the lid and to the opening. So we decided to remove the sweatshirt and just put them all in the bottom of the box and leave the box lid open. That is a box of baby foxes. So now we can go ahead and close up the, the deck because um, we knew that was the last one that was under there. So problem solved, everything's sealed up and just we need to wait for mom to return to get her young. watch the mother fox come back for her babies um, obviously one by one she's been taking them across the street and probably putting them in a, a temporary location but as you can see she's come back and taken all her babies come back to me so exactly how we wanted this to play out we took seven babies out from under the, the deck, put them in the box in very short order, literally less than five minutes, she has come back and taken all seven babies to her alternate location. 
So we are done here and she has her babies in a safe place and job complete.